Is it the 8th? Or is it the 9th? The 9th. It's the 9th. The 9th. Hello and welcome to the 9th of October! Yes. Yes, because the Askins is going to wash the spinach for me because today we are having lamb with spinach. This recipe here, that's the ingredients, method, this is what we're aiming for and of course we are using <laughs> traditional recipes of Cyprus okay author Anthos Christodoulou there we go this is the book you can probably find it on eBay there we go because Papa's the making a lot of noise because he likes to make noise we also have right here, Georgie and Ruthie. <laughs> Georgie's got new earrings in today, haven't you, Georgie? Got unicorn ones. Who bought you them? Your mummy? When you were getting your ears pierced, didn't she? Yeah. At the moment, I have my pot there. I have my lamb here. Rico decided on leg of lamb, jigget, jigget chops. Jigget chops, leg of lamb. Three of them are jigget chops, other ones are off the bone. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna basically I'm gonna brown them and then add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, I've browned my meat. I'm now gonna add my onion in here and everything. Okay, we have some chicken cooking here because our Ruth does not eat lamb at all. So my lamb is all in the pot now, in here, cooking. There we go. Not added the spinach yet. <laughs> Teary me. So that's to be added once the meat softens. Ruth and I are enjoying the organic red. Cheers. I'm still in gym gear. This is the organic red. No added sulfur <laughs> to my friend that messaged me about sulfur in wine. There we go. Hello, welcome to Monday. It is the <gasps> what day is it? It is. Oh my god, Lily was at the groomers. We made it. Oh my god, thank goodness for vlogging because I would have completely have forgotten about Lily's appointment. Oh my goodness me. So that's Lily at the groomers now. I've just dropped her off. I completely and utterly forgot. And I, I mean, I get a text to remind me, but it's just if I hadn't looked at the camera to look at the date, what is it, the 10th? <laughs> Welcome to the 10th of October, people. Okay, let's go home. It is... So it is Monday and it is cleaning... What is it? It is cleaning downstairs day. I'm not with it today. So I've been to the gym. And I'll tell you why I'll explain why. It's been quite a, an emotional day. So... I went to the gym. And just as I came home... My friend Gorilla was on the phone. Oh, so that's her hair now starting to fall out. It's, I don't know if it's, it's like big clumps of hair, and I just we were we both we kind of dreading that moment, talking about it in the hope that you know it doesn't matter how much you expect it, it's a big big shock and. Um, and we knew it was coming close because I think I said on the vlogs she, her head has been feeling sore and she said, you know, she, she, she couldn't explain it but she just says her head, her head was feeling sore. Okay, I am back home. So, my memory card <laughs> filled up in the car and stopped filming. So, that's what happened. I keep calling my memory card a SIM card. So when I say a SIM card, with regards to the camera, I mean my memory card. Honestly, it's, it's a crazy day today. Right, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm late doing everything. I haven't started cleaning. I haven't got my washing out. I'm still drinking this morning's coffee, and that even that's finished. I've got a cup of tea there that I made that's probably frozen now. 
cheers right let me finish telling you what i was saying to you so yeah so when i came in from the gym go left for me and basically she was just holding up a clump of hair and i'm like no so it's been quite an emotional day today because that's just another it's a shock it's a shock and as much as she was expecting it it's still a shock and it makes it all real i think i think that's what it is you know because she had her chemo and she was i'm gonna put my ears on hold on because i look better with my ears on because <laughs> i really i really look terrible um <laughs> even the ears are not helping people just one of those days. I'm gonna try and get over today, tonight actually, and see her when Rico comes. I'm gonna try and I think um, she's gonna shave her head tonight. As I did suggest, I said that to her when I was talking to her sister. You know, as much as you don't want to hear this, I think you should just shave it off and put your wig on because I think it's more because I just think it's more stressful to keep touching your head and have clumps of hair and i know it's all very 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 easy for me to give advice and you know and she's just so brave she so so brave and she just said to me so anyway we finished speaking and then i phoned her back again after i would kind of found a few videos for her to watch um with regards to losing your hair during chemo and all that and the after effects when hair grows back anyway so we all, we've always made a joke of how her hair is going to grow back and anyway so and then when i when i spoke to her she was smiling and laughing she goes look okay she says that's it i'll get through this as well and we'll see what the next stage is and she's she is honestly one of the bravest people i've ever known and i know when you know when something like this happens you really don't have much choice but just to get on with things and she really is she's she's doing brilliantly and uh, so that's really i was quite that was really quite upsetting as well to to see it actually happening so right so now i'm going to be basically chasing my tail i completely forgot about the groomers but leah who grooms lily said she might get some video footage of um her grooming lily so yeah thank goodness for the calendar honestly 10 minutes i got there <laughs> honestly i had 10 minutes until lily's appointment to get there and you know what it's like you know when you're driving it's red lights all the way all the way oh look i was taking my nail varnish honestly i'm not doing anything right I was picking up my nail varnish while I was driving. You know, that's my anxiousness. This trying to get there on time. Right, enough chit chat because I really need to clean downstairs and get that washing out to get it aired a wee bit before I get the call to go and pick up Lily. I still haven't eaten because I started. Oh, so I'm gonna start talking. I started watching. What was I watching? Jules, remind me. What was I watching? Um, cause you, it's your fault Jules, it's you that told me, oh the Empress, the Empress, so I started, so Jules had said to me, um, that she started watching the Empress, and I thought, oh, so this is to Rico last night, after I'd finished editing and all that, put such and such one on Netflix, watched three episodes, it was after one before I went to bed, so obviously, I'm exhausted. Look at that. I don't know if it's me that's my eyes that are foggy or the camera that's foggy. <laughs> it's good. I don't think it was zooming in and out of focus. Right. Enough chit chat. Shh. No, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Uh, I ended last night's video quite abruptly. I was cooking and then, you know, Georgie was here. George was here. Um, Ruth was here. Something's at my neighbor's alarm. Hold on. That's all right, it's off. Um, so, um, they were all here. That's her alarm, I need to go and check. It's okay, the maintenance men are there. <laughs> I took the ears off, you know, because I only make myself look like a fool on YouTube, not like in the neighborhood. <laughs> oh my God. Right, what was I saying? Don't my, something's wrong with my focus, because I'm having to hold my, Oh, there's definitely something wrong with my focus. Oh. Change zoom magnify. I don't know. Something's not right because I mean do I normally hold my hand that far away? 
I mean, if the one sh Oh, hold on. Here we go. Right, that's as far away as it will go. I don't know. Something's not right. But anyway, let's get the washing out. Can't remember what I was saying. Oh, I was I was gonna say, yeah. So I, I don't think I ended up showing you yesterday's meal, but it was lovely. It was lamb with spinach and it was really easy to make. Just, I just fried up my meat, took my meat out of the pot. I think I filmed that bit. And then I just added the rest of the ingredients in the pot, the onion, um, the fried up the onion a wee bit, fried up whatever else I was using, um, tomato, the bay leaves. I added um, some stock cubes as well. And then I put the meat back in and then just put enough water to cover the meat and let the meat cook. And then I added the spinach because the spinach didn't take long. Of course, there's a lot of liquid that comes out the spinach. Probably we had too much spinach, but it's fine. We like spinach. And it was absolutely delicious. Ruth doesn't eat lamb, so we made chicken for Ruth and um, Georgie. And I think I said that. And Georgie enjoyed all her dinner as well and rice. And we had a lovely night. And we had some wine, Ruth and I, together. And Rico, George wasn't drinking. And uh, just a nice chit-chat. And then when they left, I ran upstairs, did some editing, and then watched um, The Empress. And today I'm chasing my tail, so I need to go now. That's my catch-up. I think that's everything. Also, it's never ending. I have some parcels here. That's the uh, giveaway advent calendar, ready to go. I've got it wrapped, ready to go. Um, I've got another parcel here. I've already sent a parcel. So, what I have to do when I'm sending parcels abroad abroad like america canada australia you know these types of places i have to make sure the parcel is under two kilos because anything above two kilos i mean even even a wee ounce okay you get oh the the price difference is ridiculous like ridiculous amounts of money so it's actually worth my while to send two parcels under two kilos rather than send one parcel that is slightly over two kilos honestly that's how it works i mean and there's so many rules and regulations about what you can send you can't put perfume you can't put um nail varnish you can't put anything that sprays you can't put oh the list is endless and I don't want to put anything in there just in case it gets opened and then the whole thing gets confiscated and then have that worry as well. So, yeah. So that's it. <laughs> that's what I was going to side people. And honestly, see, when I get things sent to me, they come so quickly from abroad. So I, honestly, it's, but when I send things, they seem to take forever. So I've already sent a parcel just now to Australia. Sent it last week. What day last week? I think it was the beginning of the week. And it still hasn't arrived. Yeah, I got a parcel from Canada and it took just a couple of days, basically. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the problem is. I, I don't know if it's in those countries or anyway. I, I really need to stop now and get on. Okay, people, I have got Lily, you can see me, so beautiful, and Leah, her groomer, has also filmed her while well, she was getting groomed, so I'll be sharing that, but anyway, I am in a bit of a panic just now, because when I was coming to pick up Lily, the, oh, the light's not good here, how about this way, no, it's not good, I'm struggling with my camera today, um, the, there's been a big, big 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 accident and the roundabout that I used to come through was all closed off and I have no sense of direction anyway the lights is not good I'll explain when I go home okay I've just spent <laughs> 10 minutes on camera talking to a camera <laughs> that wasn't on so we'll start again will we I told you it's one of those the battery <laughs> will I just give up today will I just give up Monday's vlog because it's not happening today people Okay, we have changed the battery, Lily. <laughs> You're just too beautiful. Are you not just the most beautiful girl? Yes, you are. 
I was saying, I don't even care what I look like. I'm past caring today, people. Let's try this again. Right, so I went to pick up Lily and the roundabout was closed off by police. Because there was a major, major accident. There was, it was major, whatever it is. I don't know yet what it is, but it'll soon be up on the news because it was major. And, um, but because of that, that was me. I didn't know how to pick Lily up. I didn't know any other way to go. I don't know that area at all. So, I don't know any area. <laughs> By the way, I know how to get to certain places and that's as far as it goes for me. And I don't get on well with sat -navs, so if you're going to start putting, eh, I'll follow the sat -navs. I don't, I don't get on well with sat -navs. Anyway, so I phoned up the groomers and said to them, look, listen, this is happening. Is there anything going on outside your shop because blah, 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 and they were like, no, 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 we can't see anything. Anyway, so they directed me, but I was like, Pfft. and they directed me, and I was like, oh my goodness, I don't have a clue. Phoned Rico. Rico directs me a totally different way. And I'm like, I'm, and I'm, I've listened to both directions and I thought, I'm not going to be able to follow either of these directions. I need something simple. I'm going to walk and get Lily. I'm thinking to myself, and I thought, what if they don't let me go past that bit that the accident's happened? And if I walk all the way down to there and then I've wasted more time. So I started speaking as I got out the car and did start walking. I saw a lady walking towards me and I said to her, I asked, I said, to look. I just I've got my dog at the groomers down there and I don't know how to get there and get her. She goes to me, oh don't worry about it, she's just got behind, there's a back road, just follow the back road behind. So just turn left and follow the road all the way down and then it's going to bring you to the roundabout and people are allowed past that roundabout because there was a certain part of the road <laughs> that was sectioned off. Lily's just the shadows from this. That was sectioned <laughs> Lily, stop! That was sectioned, sectioned off. Anyway, whatever, I got there and then I had to come back a different way to how I normally come back. But again, the lovely grimmers, <laughs> they showed me people. They said to me, go left and left in your home. <laughs> Basically, so I went left and left and I was home. Oh, honestly, see when it's just one of those days, it's just one of those days, people. I cannot believe it's five o'clock and I'm still cleaning downstairs. On this Monday, crazy Monday is what it is. Monday the 10th. And to top it all, my phone was nearly out of charge as well. Yeah, right. Now let's start doing some cleaning. Should you have an egg?